Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a, a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to be educated before you start using a real money. Today, we're going to cover the precision auto trade to start with. This one here, the last uh, trade, the last chart today. It is an ES on three minutes, uh, 1700. We use the same charts every day. 230 takes, 1565 on a YM. ES 25 second. This is one of my favorite. We always, every day, we show the same chart. 1200, a lot of small trades today. The DAX, every day, I only have one chart. I only have one chart on the DAX. Yesterday made 1200, today made a 1200. Simple as that. I don't have ranker bars, I don't have line break, whatever that is. I don't, we, what we show every day is the same charts, the same time frame. ES, if you go on the, any video, you will see the same ES nine range and you see the performance every day. Nine range today is all depends how the market moves. And we were done by 11.15. The gold, 370 takes, made a 2300, a beautiful trade, and it was done before 12 o'clock. The CL 22nd, we always show that, today made 1000, all of them on a daily target 1000. The CL 10 range, 1700, it was a beautiful trade, we were done uh, before 12 o'clock. The ES 32nd, also, we are done before 12 o'clock. The YM, two minutes, we were done around 12, 5, 14. The DAX, four minutes, is the same one, but on two different accounts. It's the same amount of money. Uh, the ES uh, on the 28th, 2nd, 1925, it was done at 10.20, ES 5 range, we every day use the 5 range, we show the 5 range, also it was done before 12 o'clock. The, uh, the ES 46 second, it was finished also before 12 o'clock, 12.75, and the ES 10 second is uh, my favorite chart, Beautiful, and we were done by 10.02, and we kissed it goodbye. And then on the NASDAQ, we every time I highlight how important this NASDAQ is, this NASDAQ chart, and took beautiful trades, stayed away from the chop market, made 1,000 today, and it was a little struggling today. It was done by, by uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, was done and welcome to trade and we cannot control that but uh, i like it when the auto trades done over with before 12 o'clock and kiss it goodbye don't even look at the uh, monitors anymore you know get in a suntan for nothing so this is where um, my favorite way and the precision auto trade is very simple it takes you a couple days to learn how to optimize it and and uh, if you make it uh, from 9.30 to 12 o'clock, you should just walk away from the table and uh, leave that business alone. Uh, we're going to cover the scalper. Also, there is a Russell for the Russell traders. I mean, I don't have to show everything, but uh, this is the five minutes Russell made today, 3,400. And um, it is unusual for the Russell to nail over 3,000. Today it did, and not because we are using uh, five minutes, no. Because the way the, the, the market moving, we hit it beautifully because the precision auto trade trade with the trend and reverse in the same time. And he, what, he, he got lucky with two nice reversal and that did the trick. So also it depends the shape of the, 
the bars on the chart and the time frame you are using have an impact uh, from day to day. Uh, let's look at the scalper. Today on the, the, the three minutes scalper, uh, it was something else because the auto trade was every time was taking a trade, the market was turning around and finally hit the final target here and made in other word, the three minutes on the scalping was struggling, but finally it did close at 1050. At two o'clock, it was a very struggling chart uh, on the scalper today. And uh, as I said, it depends on what kind of or what type of uh, time frame you are using. It's the same auto trade, the same template, different time frame. So this one here is on the three minutes. It was uh, really struggling and uh, didn't finish until two o'clock. Then if we look at the two minutes, uh, we were done by one o'clock and was not a struggling market. Uh, on the on the 30 second, we were done at 9.54 and uh, 14.50. So it all depends how those bars lay on a chart. Uh, if it makes it easy to that auto trade to take a trade, it's not just the auto trade itself. It's also the condition of the market, how it's moving, and where those bars laying on the on a chart. So, uh, does that mean tomorrow? This is the biggest. This is the biggest mistake traders do. Oh, I can see the thirty second today made more money, so tomorrow I will trade the thirty second. That's not true. Because I mean, today the three minutes of struggling market. Tomorrow could be uh, the market is uh, moving differently, and uh, maybe the three minutes is gonna do the best. So that, like what we said in the other room, uh, you have to uh, keep your eye on the, your technical chart, which we have top of the line technical chart. Uh, can predict uh, very well what's going on in the market. So this is the scalper on the next generation. Because of all the news today, as you see, there is a lot of a small trade. This is one of the example yesterday. If you look at the video, the one minute didn't make it yesterday. And uh, we did the announcement yesterday. I showed the, the chart yesterday, the one in the middle, the one minute didn't make it. Uh, today it made 1500 but also you can see that it was a lot of small trades and and finally the first chance we had uh, we nailed it and nailed 1560 uh, uh, on the five minutes also it was a lot of a small trade and uh, it did 1600 so there is no difference between the five minutes and the one minute if you look at the video yesterday, the one minute didn't make it. Welcome to trading. Nothing can be done. The most consistent is this four range uh, on the EAS because I mean, you know, you can trade this on the uh, EAS, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, but we have 16, what is it? I don't know, 16, 14 auto trades and we cannot just cover everything. So we just like the scalper, we just show the EAS, but it does not mean works only on an EAS. Uh, can work on the NASDAQ. Uh, this one here is very good for the 30 year treasury bond. And the same thing apply for the next generation. Uh, you can trade any given market or any time frame or how many lots you want. But we are just showing a little as we can. And uh, we still have many auto trades we don't show, you know, but uh, I mean, you know, I mean, you cannot cover 16 auto trades every day, honestly. So we just concentrate on three or four auto trades and um, and you get the idea from a simple auto trade to the most advanced auto trade to the medium size auto trade. In 21 and 20, we are going to 22. You cannot come in with a stupid uh, indicator called auto trade, uh, put a glue on it and uh, call it an auto trade and then you're gonna come and whack the market. This is a way out of line way out of line you know uh, right now i mean if you are wanted to trade manually a few years ago you can take a, a one minute a chart or three minutes a chart 
and, and trade manually. Right now, if you want to trade manual trade, you have to put the one minute, the three minute chart, the five minutes chart, the 15 minutes chart. You have to put the 30 minutes chart in order for you to survive manually. So it's no, I mean, every year that market get a very advanced and all those big companies that are using a very smart algorithm, you cannot come with a Pinto, an indicator 20 years old, MACD's, ATR's moving averages, and you're gonna come in and jump in and tell this guy to move over and you wanna take his chair. It does not exist this way. So right now the auto trading, if it's not complex, behind the scene, the engine, if it's not smart engine on an auto trade, there is no survival. Even when you have a given auto trade to guy don't know what's going on in the market, also he's gonna struggle. So uh, things has changed a lot, you know. We are in a digital, we're not anymore analog. You know, even the money become digital. And you cannot just come in with a moving average and you're gonna whack this market with it and then you're gonna whack the ES with it, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. A lack of money, lack of information, lack of training, coming out with a Pinto and wanna get in into the race. Guess what? You will be the winner on the last car behind, but you're not gonna be one of the first winner. And 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 I don't I really don't get it how people underestimate trading, uh, the risk. Uh, and they don't. They think, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I I really uh, I have no answer for that. Honestly, I give up. Let's look at the TI seven. Now this one here we we can see is is different. Why why we see uh, uh, a scalper precision auto trade, and why we see the TI seven has more money. The reason is on a chop day like today, the TI seven has filter. There is around ten different filters in there and. When you are using filter, you can avoid some of the chop market. So on, on a chop day, uh, as you see also there is a, uh, when we did, because you can scalp on the TI-7, you can swing trade on the TI-7. There is a three scalpers in it. There is a reversal in it. There is all kind of entry in it. So uh, you can see the numbers are higher on the swing trading or on a normal trade and on the scalping you can see there is a lot of a small trade but the amount is a bit higher and the reason for that because we are using filters on the TI-7 where on the, the precision auto trade we're not using filter we're just using entry on the scalper we're only using the entry when, without any filter because we feel like the entry is a smart enough without the filter on here, there is a 10 different filter, and each filter can can really um, be very useful for a certain instruments. As an example, a filter work on the ES is not gonna work uh, on, on a NASDAQ, or an entry works on the NASDAQ is not gonna work uh, on well, we still have one chart. It's about to close, 1100. So the the TI, but for a guy is a new, he should start with a precision auto trade or a scalper and move his way up to the TI-7 and then move his way up to the next generation. It's a step-by-step. Step. You start earning your ranks. You know, you start earning your knowledge. Once the more knowledge you know, the more you... Uh, it's not just auto trade, you know, turn button on. I mean, you, you, it's not just a turn on, lift off, and we are on the moon. I mean, you, you need to find balance, guys, you know, with the auto trade. You, you need to learn when to start this auto trade, when to stop this auto trade, how to balance the auto trade for certain instruments, 
and how you wanted to trade it on a smaller time frame, on a bigger time frame. I mean, there is so many doors. Uh, you have to understand that. You cannot just take an auto trade and put it on one minute, turn it on and go to the beach. You cannot do that, you know. So on the ES, three minutes, if we see the Hakanachi on the three minutes, 2,500 is fine. It's very good. Beautiful trades. Missed a lot of trades. That's fine. Less trades, 2,500. On the NASDAQ 520, which we always show the 520. On the Precision, we show the 590. And on the TI7, we always show uh, the 520. And here is the 520. It's 1,050. Uh, the ES, three minutes, 1,300. You can see how much uh, trades on this one here on the 10 minutes, uh, two minutes. Uh, the uh, the DAX, but earn more money, is 2,144. CL, five minutes. You can see how small trades they are on the five minutes because it's based on a scalping, 1460. Also, this one here is a one minute, 1200. And uh, the CL on the 13 range, we showed that yesterday, 1300 as well. The same chart you have seen yesterday. Is the same chart you see today. There is no surprise in here. ES two minute. This is did very well today. Uh, the three minutes. Uh, we we did this chart on the other uh, live channel, and uh, it is thirty nine sixty two uh, on the two minutes with the TI seven. Dax thirteen range sixteen hundred. Nothing special. Uh, the gold lately has been something else, 2,400. Uh, the scalping on 11 range, 1,200. This was a beautiful trade on the range chart where I am, 2,600. On the Russell, three minutes, 1,000. I don't trade the Russell, so, but here it is. Uh, 12.30 on the nine. I only have one chart, uh, y, uh, the nine minutes YM, somehow is very consistent and uh, avoid a lot of uh, noises in the market. Uh, ES five minutes, Russell four minutes. You can see the four minutes on the Russell, 1345, and the five minutes is 1000, it's the same auto trade. The difference is because the condition where the charts are laying on, on, the, on the chart, that's what happened. It's the bars. It's not the auto trade. ES1400, the five minutes, 4000. And you can see this, uh, uh, there is, it was a lot of chops as well. And uh, we started around uh, 9.30, and it was one trade. That's it. Russell again. Uh, look at this. This is funny. The, this is the three minutes. This is the four minutes. This is uh, the uh, three minutes. This one here is the swing trade in 23.45. And then the YM595. We showed that yesterday. It did take a lot of nice trades. Is three thousand, and uh, finished before twelve o'clock. It is no longer about uh, the trading. Is about I like I like to be done before twelve. Honestly, you know this is my you know, and also to our traders. I mean, why you need to optimize from nine thirty to to four o'clock or three thirty? We can optimize from nine thirty to twelve o'clock. Well, once you hit your target, why you want to mess with the market in the afternoon anyway? And finally, is the ES one minute, fourteen hundred. On the signal entry, those the number you see here is not the whole day. 
those are the numbers from the last entry signal only from the last entry signal it's not the whole day right now based on one contract is we have uh, we have around 1900 because you know you, you have this micro accounts the micro accounts you see there is eight dollars forty four dollars sixty seven dollars a hundred fifty ten dollars eleven twelve so this is is counting as a take but really those takes are really empty because they are uh, on a micro account what it really counts is the first section here the es fifteen hundred base on one contract the nasdaq fourteen hundred base on one contract the ym almost a thousand dollar base on one contract forget it if you don't have money for the rest but if we stay on es nasdaq down zones here is uh, the total amount of money right there based on one contract based on the last entry signal and then you can see you have confirmation here uh, to the trend then we have uh, I mean, you can trade anything with it. Uh, you can trade stock. You can uh, copy the signal for the stocks. Crypto, Forex, whatever you want to do, you can do. I want to say thank you very much for today. I'm sorry about my no, uh, my uh, my my voice. You know, we 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 spend 14 hours a day. We talk to a million people a day, and uh, then at the end of the day, you know, you lose your voice. You know. Uh, but uh, I wish everyone a very happy evening and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the other channel. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Bye.